No, the rules were truly, once I said to, to, the, to, to Annie and to Ricky, uh, let's go. That's, it's not fair. I hate people that do a documentary, but you can't film this, you can't film that. That is not a documentary. I mean, there honestly were no rules. She, she, as I said earlier, she opened up every door. And, and she watched, I, I showed her the film, just the two of us, and, um, and, I, and I think there were very minor things, and you, you've been honest about just sort of her husband's suicide and being sensitive to Melissa, which is totally understandable. And then as, as time went on, Joan, and I say this with love, you know, is a perfectionist, and, and also, you know, granted me, us, this gift to portray her in 85 minutes. And so I think it's very hard to see your life distilled, you know, through someone else's eyes. And I think, you know, there were notes like, 16, more dogs, people like dogs. You know, because that's, you know, Joan, could we have more jokes? Could we have the ending here? But she's so, such a writer and a creative person that, um, that, you know, I understand where that came from, but, you know, there was, I couldn't really get into it, you know, and at some point we just sort of reconciled. And we did gave when we could, and, but, you know, no, there was nothing that I go, God, you know, I wish that had been in, and it wasn't. There's one shot where I'm totally cross-eyed. <laughs> every time I see it, I go, oh, God damn it. That I'm looking at them, I'm just talking to the ceiling. <laughs> and there's another shot where I've been performing in London at the Purple Cow for the, for the Comedy Festival. And I'm talking about loss. <laughs> and, uh, is, I'll stop you right I've had a glass of wine, nothing to eat with my eyes. And uh, I've lost, and I, you, there's certain people you don't share things with anymore because they, they're gone one way or the other in your life. And I have purple hair. <laughs> and it's, it, it just makes me laugh. And have, have you seen the film at all? See you see it. Well, you'll see this one very moving scene. And I've got purple hair. <laughs> Now it makes me laugh, but it's very moving. <laughs> well, I mean, because the film's, I suppose it started about 10 minutes time, yeah. to the other side of town. We'll take one, one more question if there is one. But we do have to make it very yeah. fast. Very quick. Yeah. Last chance. Yeah. 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 Hi, um, Alice from um, Guardian Video. Um, I was just looking at when you, when you first watched the film, what was your sort of instant reaction to it? And were you portrayed in a way that you originally saw yourself being? It is so hard to look at yourself, seriously. It's so difficult. I look to see if I look thin. <laughs> I look to see if Melissa looked pretty, thank God, my daughter. And you look at all the superficial things, I know it sounds terrible. Um, and you don't know. You don't know because it's you. So nothing surprised me. People always say, what surprised you with It's me, so nothing surprised me. I thought their choices were amazing. Because there were things that, there's a thing with a heckler that, you know, how you push bad things from you, you know, I totally forgot the heckler incident. Therefore. Therefore. No, but yes, yeah. forgot it. And then there it is. And you go, oh my lord. Because it was bad, so we're just yeah. get it behind. Yes, I think the average person, nothing in life is easy, nothing is given to you, but if you want something, you just work hard for it. That's all, that's the only message. And don't get way down with this bad thing behind you because better things do happen. But does that make you interesting? Is it what you've been through? I don't know if it makes me interesting, but I'm still standing and I'm still having a great time. <laughs> having a very good time. And, uh, and, and I've been lucky and, and I'm doing what I want to do. And go through your life doing what you want to do. Don't let your mother tell you, oh, could be a nurse or go be a doctor or go be an astronaut. Do what you want to do because you turn around and you go, I'm 77. This is stupid. Okay? Um, anyone else? Or we done? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's do Thank you, Miss Starry and Eddie. That was lovely. Thank you so much.